Um, the news is, you know, we are, I think, as hopeful as ever. Mm -hmm. um, thankfully, the our you know numbers have been strong, and and so I don't from behind my desk where I never actually <laughs> sit. <laughs> I don't see any reason why we wouldn't continue. But as you know, these things you know change for no particular reason at any moment. So that's why we're really we've been really pushing to try and get people to watch live these days and keep the ratings up and pound mm -hmm. sci-fi or well we're in a really cool like or whoever to keep haven on the air we're right? in a really cool age i think of television with just the whole worldwide interweb as you would call it because fans really make a difference like mm -hmm. that you know in the past fans are fantastic and they're great but this is the first, I think, kind of generation of TV watchers mm. where, you know, their presence as a fan base really can make an impact on a network. Um, we've seen that from, you know, shows being brought back because they've really harassed networks to now, you know, the internet presence of a fan base really speaks volumes. So we're excited to be here at Comic-Con. There's tons of fans, but we also love to get the message out there that, you know, if our fans are vocal and they tell the networks they want us to come back and they spread the word and, you know, check in on Get Glue when they're watching the, tel you know, the series or talk about it with each other or, you know, trend the topic on Twitter or any of those things, that makes a difference. I mean, we get emails regularly saying, oh, we trended at this. You know, it really does make a difference. So. Yep. You know, yeah. our fans make a difference on whether or not we come back. So in that way, if they think, you know, oh, it's fine, it's coming back, and they maybe not be as vocal, sometimes that can have an effect. So we say even though we're, you know, pretty sure we're coming back and we hope we're coming back, make sure that that happens. You yeah. know, we yeah. love for the word to get out that they want us back. Absolutely. Is there any uh, ritual when a new cast member joins that you have to put, do a prank or haze a certain <laughs> new <laughs> cast member? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, what's the tricks that There's have to be done? <laughs> Our ritual consists of coming into the trailer every single morning and just going at it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to rephrase that? <laughs> <laughs> Verbally going at it. Mm -hmm. Just downloading about yes. everything uh, in life. Mm -hmm. You just come in and it's like you start the day and you can start the day if you it's inevitably I would say the ritual is you know a new cast member comes in and whatever our energy is as a cast in the morning it just we attack that person with that energy whether they like it or not mm -hmm. they get that's what I mean on. by going at it like they come into the trailer and mm -hmm. we either if we're in like the best most hyper mood ever they're gonna get that full force mm -hmm. The boys will just start hugging on them repeatedly. And <laughs> yeah, we're pretty well. We're we're pretty immediately welcoming. Mm -hmm. Maybe overwhelmingly so. Yeah, like I think people are. Yeah, a overwhelmed. Little, uh, yeah, <laughs> wonder a little what they've gotten themselves because into. It's Thankfully, they grow to enjoy <laughs> us. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I, I've said this before in interviews, but I'll say it again. We film on the edge of nowhere, it feels like. Yeah. Not that Nova Scotia's nowhere, but it feels like that sometimes. And so whenever anyone comes in from the outside, we're like, Hello! Right. Tell us of the food you have eaten in the faraway land. Mm -hmm. What is it like out there? Right. What news you bring. <laughs> what news you bring <laughs> from the Shire. So you really are like a little small town yourself. <laughs> Abs yes. Absolutely. You know, and there is, and then they have such, you know, they're usually coming from somewhere relatively far away so there is the whole culture shock of being in this little world that we shoot in um so i have a story about that not now i can tell you later tell me later because i keep on talking <laughs> and i was good yep go ahead no, go ahead <laughs> and there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep go ahead Emily. okay <laughs> Uh, Emily has a story about about another sci-fi person, mm -hmm. Colin Ferguson from Eureka. Uh -huh. Okay, Fine. I've done many of you know event with Colin, and I tell him all the time, yes, we film in a really small town, we're out in the middle of nowhere, and he kind of would be like, ah. yeah. right, good line. He came to join us this season, obviously, and I, the first email slash an email which turned into a phone call on the phone, he literally said to me. 
I, I don't know where, like, literally, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Like, am I really, I, I could we be five minutes? I don't know. I don't know where I am. And I just started laughing at him because he's given me such a hard time for so long mm-hmm. about that, like, yeah, it's hard filming on location. It's mm. hard. But literally, he was We only in. have one restroom. Yeah. <laughs> he, he woke up and he was like, you guys only have one. We're like, yes, we know, Colin. Yeah. We're aware. Welcome mm-hmm. to Haven. Yeah. <laughs> it's really fun. That's kind of an initiation in and of itself. Mm-hmm. Um, Emily, how much fun have you had playing Lexi and Audrey, or should I say Laudry? Laudry. And um, uh, Lucas, how has it felt having uh, a new side, William, come into that relationship between Audrey and Nathan? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> but you can answer. No, you, I've been talking too much. You can answer, I answer your question, your question first. Question? We could, yeah, let's trade answers. Um, no, how does it feel to have a new... Um, hmm. Well... It, uh, I mean, it's it's great for someone, for Nathan to have someone to, um, yeah, I guess I can't say exactly what our the nature of our relationship is yet, but to have uh, have um, other characters involved in his tiny little world. Like you um, say brain. Tiny little brain, <laughs> and. Um, and in the same way, I guess for me, you know, just as as the the person Lucas, that's not the character. Uh, it's really nice to have Colin around. He's a great guy and a pleasure to have on set. A total ass and a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, I would say it's been a lot of fun playing Laudry, um, Lexi, and well, not so much playing. Laudry. Laudry kind of drives me nuts. And that is to say when the two are like going this way. Like it's kind of crazy because I I think I've fought pretty hard throughout the season to really clearly say who is this right now? Who is this right now? You know, are we going to make it clear to the fans? Are we... Uh, so for the first four episodes it was really fun playing Lexi. I mean, she... Um, Especially episode five, which I think just aired here. It was when um, Lexi comes into Haven, and uh, it was directed by a great new director we had this year, Rick Boda. 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 Mm-hmm. And um, he, we just had a lot of fun because he would pull me aside and he'd say, like, let's do something fun with Lexi, and that, you know, how can she get on Nathan's nerves more and more and more and so that was fun for me to play because I was like I have an idea <laughs> <laughs> trying to get into his personal space because you know here he's dealing with the fact that Audrey's around but she's not around and so the comedic side of Lexi was really fun to play just I, I would try things and instead of people saying like oh no take it down a notch they'd be like great you know you can just be bigger and more out there um, but it is a little tricky finding my way back to Audrey and feeling like she's clear because I feel like, you know, she has Lexi so much on top of her now in so many ways. So that was a little tricky. Um, but I tried to add so many layers to Lexi that as Audrey begins to be reintroduced to Haven, some of those things come off, um, like her nose rings or the, her hair or the different types of her clothes that you sort of see her kind of blend back into her hair falls off. Yeah, it, it comes out <laughs> in the, the next episode. Spoiler yeah. alert. <laughs> it's a trouble.